This is the watchman giving a clarion call. <laughs> well, brothers, out with the old and in with the new. <laughs> 2016 has started with a bang on several fronts, and I intend on covering them all, but today I wanted to cover the silver side of the equation. One of the things about the silver manipulation that's sometimes hard to gauge is how badly the banksters are down on their silver supply to feed into the markets. But there are some metrics we can use to get clues, and one of the metrics I like to watch is, is the COMEX. If you see silver being sucked quickly out of COMEX vaults for, for long periods of time, without any break or change in that trend, that is the key, it should set off your alarm bells. It, it means something is seriously wrong, and that world supply is simply not keeping up with global demand. Now, I bring this up because that's precisely what we've seen in the comics for the last eight months straight. In the first week of 2016, though, something remarkable has just taken place that I've only seen one other person make mention of, and that's Steve San Angelo. In fact, he wrote a piece about it. And here's, if y'all are wondering what just happened, here's what happened. At the very outset of the new year, there was a huge drawdown in COMEX registered silver. Now, registered, uh, if you recall, uh, simply means the silver actually available for sale and immediate delivery. Okay, There's more ounces in there, but those ounces are already spoken for. They're, they're owned by somebody else <laughs> and maybe several uh, somebody else's. Now, the number of registered ounces at the year's beginning was uh, about 40.3 million ounces. Okay, we're already getting a bit on the low side, but then some uh, big parties just decided that $14 silver with the world's equity markets literally caving in uh, was just stupid. Okay, $14 is a stupid price uh, under any circumstances, but especially the ones we find ourselves in right now. And they decided they wanted a piece of the action. So someone stepped up and was responsible for removing 3.5 million silver ounces out of the registered category in one day. <laughs> Earlier this week, in one day, 3.5 million ounces were removed. Now, I haven't gone back to check every single uh, daily withdrawal for the past five years. But my gut tells me that's got to be nearly a record for a single day. It's got to be in the top five or ten withdrawals of all time. However, if you look at it uh, percentage-wise, it's even more compelling. Because remember, the entire total available was only 40.3 million. And that means in one day, nearly 10% of all available silver left was removed. <laughs> and then, in the next several days, they lost another 300,000 ounces of registered silver. So, with one day left in the week, that's today, that's Friday, they've nearly lost 4 million ounces in a single week. 10% drawdown. And, and that leaves the silver available for sale there at a paltry, ridiculous, 36.5 million ounces. Now, brother, stop right there. This should absolutely make your spidey sen senses uh, tingle. Th th they should be going nuts right now. The downtrend of available silver to buy at the COMEX that's been in place since last April is still very, very much alive. They'd slowed it down for a few months in November and December, but it never stopped. The registered had still dropped to 40 million. They tried to hold on to the 40s. <laughs> but when it finally broke through that floor, it smashed it. It broke it hard. Now, consider this. Back when there was a real wholesale shortage developing in 2011, when silver was screaming higher by the day due to J.P. Morgan's uh, epic short-covering panic, the comics was doing a similar registered and eligible silver drop, comparable uh, to what we're seeing right now. And back during that registered silver nosedive, all the way um, uh, uh, down to 
26.6 million ounces in July of 2011. That was the lowest level they had seen in many, many years. Okay, it went all the way down from, you know, roughly the 70, 80 millions down to 26 million. What stopped that nosedive back then? Well, think carefully and remember what happened in September of 2011. <laughs> It was only after the controlled demolition of MF Global and the seizure of millions of ounces of privately held client silver back then that the banksters were able to stem the tide and start replenishing their vastly uh, 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 drawn down silver stocks all the way back up from 26 million to over 70. They, they took it. Uh, up to 70.5 million ounces last April. Now this is serious stuff. Think about what this means. It means now that available silver has caved roughly 50% from its high and two, that that 50% cave-in took one-fifth of the time it took for the banking cabal to rebuild that silver stash. In other words, <laughs> four years of hard silver stacking by the banks has been erased in just six, uh, in just six to eight months. It took the stairs up and the elevator shaft down. Comex available silver has gone bungee jumping without a cord. It also means this. We're just 10 million ounces above the silver stash lows we hit in 2011. <laughs> 10 million ounces sounds like a lot, folks, but believe me, it's not. I mean, for Pete's sakes, we lost half of that amount just this week. If the banks do not allow silver to rise, both rapidly and soon, I expect the 2011 July lows of 26 million to be breached hard, at least by April, um, and perhaps just by the beginning of, uh, of March. But ask yourself this question. This is the million dollar question that everyone should be uh, asking, especially diehard stackers. If they breach 26 million, which seems to be the level that really indicates some hard panic, and then it keeps going lower, and the bank still can entice a lot of new silver out of the eligible category uh, uh, to jump ship onto the registered side. What happens then? <laughs> you see, last time, the banksters stopped that downtrend only by literally uh, sniping, by assassinating a bank with a $40 billion market cap, MF Global and then by repeatedly face-pounding silver's price again and again and again. <laughs> but do you think that strategy of kneecapping silver's price is still going to work from $14? If they took it to $12, to 10 or hell, even to 8 do you think folks would be puking up their silver positions? <laughs> Not a snowball's chance in Miami, brothers. Not a chance. These people are trapped. Remember, the U.S. is importing record amounts of silver just to keep the COMEX relevant. The COMEX is the pricing mechanism for silver around the world, which is why they are still importing record amounts, far beyond what they need for their industrial side, far beyond what they need even for the stacking side. They are bringing in record amounts, and it's still not enough to keep the COMEX numbers elevated. Now, COMEX gold is a very different creature than COMEX silver. Remember, they've got large stockpiles of gold to feed into that deficit, to feed into Hong Kong, to feed into Shanghai, to feed into India. But they do not have large silver stockpiles available. That silver is still largely consumed by industry. It still must be used in assembly lines. It still must be used in factories. And it still must be delivered to every stacker everywhere. Okay, They don't have large silver stockpiles. 2011 proved it. The COMEX and LBMA is truly all there is. And other exchanges like the Shanghai Exchange simply do not have enough silver 
to make up the difference. If they needed to start importing silver uh, kilos straight from uh, you know the Shanghai Silver Exchange back to New York, it wouldn't be enough to last them. If, uh, you know, a, a couple of months. They just don't have the silver to make up the difference. Okay, to maintain the market rigging, the silver must flow. And the last eight months prove that silver's price flow, uh, the, the silver's price uh, is is so low that silver's physical flow is insufficient to maintain a sub sixteen dollar silver price, and it is most certainly insufficient at fourteen and below. Let them do their worst, brothers. Let them slam it, do whatever they want. Watch their remaining phantasmic silver totally cliff dive, totally evaporate. This is the Watchman signing off. Stay vigilant and bring the fight to them.